This is the World Traveller Plus Premium Economy Cabin. This is the front row of World Traveller Plus Premium Economy, seats 20 A and B. And uh, row 20, although it's staggered, goes right the way across the front of this cabin in a 242 configuration. So you've got A, B, and then D, E, F, G, and it's J, K over there. And in Premium economy, it's seven rows, both in the window seats and in the middle seats. It's a 242 configuration. You can see with these seats, you've got uh, the IFE coming out of the arm, whereas with all the other seats, as you'd expect, they're in the, uh, the seat back screens. So this is the premium economy cabin, the World Traveller Plus cabin, viewed from the rear, which is the, uh, the back row, row 26. Row 26 is a good one in the sense that you can recline without bothering anyone and you can see where that um, area is. But of course, if you can see where the curtain is, it also means that you may potentially be disturbed by economy passengers, particularly since with these being bulkhead seats, it's where the bassinet will go for children. And that's that bit there. So if you imagine that potentially could have um, a cot in it. And uh, if you were in the last row, row 26 of World Traveller Plus, that might well bother you. So, you know, it's a good row to have and not everyone can be in the front row. Personally, for World Traveller Plus, I tend to go for the middle of the cabin, uh, window seats. People talk about the differences between economy and premium economy, as in whether it's worth paying the extra. Um, it really comes down to the seat and the, the room that you get in it. And you can see here that these World Traveller Plus seats have got both a uh, footrest and they've got um, a leg rest. So while the seat reclines, uh, which is great, and you've got more room in the seats because there would be three economy seats there instead of two, you've also got that extra comfort for your legs.